Bolivar was founded and incorporated as the J. Bolivar Company in 1875 by a 23-year-old Bohemian Zec immigrant by the name of Joseph Bolivar, who opened a small jewelry shop on Maiden Lane in New York City. In 1911, Bolivar started to manufacture and sell bordeaux and table clocks, as well as fine pocket watches. In 1912, he launched his first plant dedicated entirely to the production of watches. Manufacturing watches at their factory in Bale, Switzerland, Bolivar began a standardized mass production never seen in the world of watchmaking until then. During World War I in 1919, the convenience of wristwatches, as opposed to pocket watches, was discovered. Along with the discovery, Joseph Bolivar offered the first complete range of watches for men. In 1923, the name Bolivar Watch Company Incorporated is adopted and became a renowned watch company. Bolivar perfects a new concept in the watch industry with total standardization of parts. Every part of the Bolivar watch is made with such precision that it is interchangeable with the same part in any other Bolivar watch. This revolutionizes the servicing of watches in the industry. In 1924, Bolivar unveils the first full line of ladies' watches, including diamond-accented pieces. In 1926, Bolivar produces the nation's first ever radio spot commercial, which said, At the tone, it's 8 p.m. B-U-L-O-V-A, Bolivar watch time. In 1927, Charles A. Lindbergh was the first pilot to cross the Atlantic nonstop. His crossing earned him a Bolivar watch and a check for $1,000, and it became an emblem for the brand that created the model Lone Eagle in his likeness. Bolivar then shipped 5,000 Lone Eagle watches packed with the picture of Lindbergh, the supply sold out within three days. During the next few years, Bolivar sold nearly 50,000 of these commemorative watches. 1927 is also the year Bolivar Watch Company went public on the American Stock Exchange. In 1931, Bolivar conducts the watch industry's first ever million dollar advertising campaign. Throughout the Depression years, Bolivar supports retailers by offering Bolivar watches to buyers on time payment plans. In 1935, Joseph Bolivar, founder of Bolivar Watch Company, dies. Bolivar produced the world's first official television commercial on July 1, 1941, before a baseball game between the Brooklyn Dodgers and a Philadelphia Phillies over New York station WNBT, who is now known as WNBC. The announcement for which the company paid anywhere from $4 to $9 included a simple picture of a clock and a map of the United States, with a voiceover proclaiming, America runs on Bolivar time. 1941 also marks the year that the Bolivar Board of Directors adopts a resolution to manufacture products for national defense at actual cost. Throughout World War II, having perfected the skill of creating precision timepieces, Arde Bolivar, Joseph's son, works with the U.S. government to produce military watches, specialized timepieces, aircraft instruments, critical torpedo mechanisms, and fuses. The Joseph Bolivar School of Watchmaking was founded in 1945 by Arde Bolivar, chairman of the board, initially to provide training for disabled veterans after the Second World War. The school later became a full-fledged rehabilitation facility and advocate for disabled people nationwide and one of the founders of wheelchair sports in the United States. However, in 1993, due to the advent of quartz watch technology, the mechanical watch industry went into a deep decline. The need for professional watchmakers diminished and the school closed. In 1952, Bolivar begins developing Accutron, the first breakthrough in timekeeping technology in over 300 years. Accutron, the first fully electronic watch, promises to keep time within two seconds a day. In 1953, with a new trend in the watch industry, the self-winding and shockproof watch, Bolivar adds more of this type of watch to its line. In 1954, Bolivar introduces the Bolivar 23, a self-winding, waterproof, 23-jewel watch with an unbreakable mainspring, made entirely in the United States. In 1955, an A.C. Nelson Co. survey reveals that Americans see more national advertising for Bolivar products than for any other products in any other industry in the world. In 1956, Bolivar completes negotiations to co-sponsor the Jackie Gleason Show, a one-hour live television show airing Saturday nights from 8 to 9 o'clock. This is the first time in history that any watch or jewelry allied industry has made a sponsorship commitment of such magnitude. In 1959, Bolivar offers an unprecedented one-year warranty on all of its clock radios. In 1960, NASA asks Bolivar to incorporate Accutron into its computers for the space program. Bolivar timing mechanisms eventually became an integral part of 46 missions of the U.S. space program. In 1961, Accutron, the first watch to keep time through electronics, is introduced. It is the most spectacular breakthrough in typekeeping since the invention of the wristwatch. 
This revolutionary timekeeping concept of a watch without springs or escapement is operated by an electronically activated tuning fork. The Accutron watch goes on to become a presidential gift to world leaders and other dignitaries. President Johnson declares it the White House's official gift of state. In 1962, the Accutron tuning fork watch becomes the first wristwatch certified for use by railroad personnel. 1962 is also the year that Bolova introduces its Caravel line of jeweled watches, designed to retail at $10.95 to $29.95, Caravelle completes with non-jeweled watches in the same price range. In 1967, Accutron clocks are the only clocks aboard Air Force One. In 1968, the Bolova satellite clock, the world's first public clock to display time, controlled by time signals broadcast by orbiting satellites, is inaugurated by Gustavo Diaz Ordaz, President of Mexico. The clock is installed atop the Torre Latino Americana, Mexico's tallest skyscraper. 1968 also marks the year that Caravelle becomes the largest selling jeweled movement watch in the United States. In 1969, an Accutron watch movement is part of the equipment placed on the moon by Apollo 11 astronauts, the first men on the moon. A Bolova timer is placed in the moon's sea of tranquility to control the transmissions of vital data through the years. Also in 1969, Bolova introduces the AccuQuartz, the first quartz-based clock. In 1970, the Bolova AccuQuartz men's calendar wristwatch becomes the first quartz crystal watch sold at retail in the United States. Made of 8 karat gold, it retails for $1,325. In 1973, three specially designed Accutron portable alarm clocks are placed on board NASA's Skylab, the world's first space laboratory, launched from Cape Kennedy. Also this year, Bolova wins the world's first design competition for solid-state digital watches at the Prix de la Ville de Geneva Watch Styling Competition, the world's first prestigious international watch styling competition. Bolova also wins two of the three honorable mentions awarded at the competition. In 1976, Bolova introduces its line for Accutron Quartz Movement watches for men. And in 1977, Bolova introduced its line of Accutron Quartz Movement watches for women. In 1979, the company places national commercials on many television shows, including All in the Family, Charlie's Angels, Star Sky and Hutch, The Dukes of Hazard, and Hawaii Five-0. Also in 1979, Bolova becomes a subsidiary of the Lois Corporation. In 1986, Bolova introduces its first miniature clock, creating a new category of timepieces. Bolova goes on to produce entire collections of miniature clocks, including limited edition pieces and themed groupings. In 1987, Bolova becomes the official supplier to the U.S. Olympic team, providing watches for both the Winter Games in Calgary and the Summer Games in Seoul. In 1988, Bolova changes its corporate name from Bolova Watch Company Incorporated to Bolova Corporation. This move reflects the company's growth into new and different product markets. In 1995, Bolova enters into a distribution agreement in South America and extends licenses in the Far East and Europe. In 1998, Bolova introduces the Millennia Collection, a group of watches featuring innovative technology and materials. The collection includes a solar group, watches powered by light, motion quartz, watches powered by the motion of the wearer's arm, and vibra alarm, watches featuring two alarm mode options, sound or vibration. In 2001, Bolova acquires the Wittenauer trademark and some of the assets of Wittenauer International. Bolova also acquires the license for Harley-Davidson watches. On January 10, 2008, Citizen bought the Bolova Watch Company for $250 million. Together, they are the world's largest watchmaker. In 2013, Gregory B. Thumb was named the president of Bolova after having previously held the senior vice president post at Fossil Group heading product development since 2004. In 2010, Bolova introduced the Precisionist, a new type of quartz watch with a higher frequency crystal. It has a smooth, sweeping second hand rather than one that jumps each second. In 2014, Bolova ceased the sale of watches under the Accutron and Accutron Bolova brand eliminating some Accutron models and subsuming others under the Bolova brand. Currently, Bolova designs, manufactures, and markets several different brands, including the signature Bolova, the stylish Caravel New York, the dressy and formal Swiss-made Wittenauer Swiss, the Marine Star, and many more. Hey, thanks for watching our video today. We hope you enjoyed it and provided some value for you. If you want to get in touch with us, you can connect with us through our Facebook page, which is linked below. Go ahead and check us out there. If you need help with your watch, go to our time sticking website, which is also linked below. And lastly, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We're constantly uploading new videos with fresh and interesting content. 
See you next time.